morning, folks. We are headed out for our second attempt at getting a car out of some high water. Uh, last night, we got some real bad storms around here, and everything's flooded, roads are closed everywhere. Um, this gentleman decided he would go around a couple road closed signs and just keep going, and uh, did work out for him. So we got called out to get it, went out, and the closest I could get to it was about still 75 feet, and I was tit deep in water. And the sheriff's department just called it, and they said, come back in the morning. Um, so we had the, I was out on the 550 last night. It was around like 10 or 11 p.m. Had it backed up till water was flowing a little bit of halfway through the rim. Um, had 200 plus foot of cable with 75 foot extensions. This fucking guy. Um, yeah, just couldn't reach him. Um, I'm sure we could have if we kept going, but like I say, I was chest deep in water and the sheriff's department just said, let her sit till morning. So Brandon and I are headed out. I'm in the 550. Brandon bought the, brought the rollback. Um, it's chaotic already this morning. Trucks are all over. I've got Brandon coming to give me a hand, and I had to bring a rollback just in case we do get a call, he can split. So, yeah, we got our trusty swimming trunks on, and it's a brisk 36 degrees this morning, so it should be fun. And for a reference point, it has went down immensely. This tree line last night that's right here, um, the water was halfway through the rim of the 550. So it definitely has went down a shit ton. The car's out there. It was roughly damn near to the taillights of that car last night. So we should have great success.
Joe Rogan and your cold plunges, I raise you car fishing. My nuts are in my tummy right now. <laughs> but it's alright, because we have a lariat. A lariat. We got heated seats. So, I'm chilling while Brandon does the rest. Give us your rundown of how it went when you went out there. Um, so, you know, Brandon thought it'd be cute to play games and not hook up the wire rope to my uh, my 75 foot extension. So, as I'm about belly deep, he said, oh, hey, he's probably hooking this up. And I'm like, oh, that's looking probably, huh? Uh, so I had to walk all the way back. Um, yeah, it's it's a, it's a pretty sharp pain. Reminds me back of my old football days when we had to take ice baths. Um, pretty miserable. So for everybody that does like cold plunges and stuff, you're a fucking psychopath. It's stupid. It's painful. Uh, my legs are burning red. Um, but we do what we got to do because closure is not an option. And it's 2022, if you know what I mean, my toe buddies. Yeah, it's fine. We'll get her out. Those legs might blind everyone. What's up? So those legs might blind everyone. River, possibly drinking. Oh, it's still full. Huh. Maybe this could be the reason we went past two road close signs. I don't know. It's like a reward. They're good. For whatever reason, when we were pulling it from down there, it started drifting off, and it went from one ditch bank to the other, and I wasn't too concerned about it. The car is totally. Um, so now it's going in, it was headed for this tree line, so now we're gonna try swinging it out of the tree line. What a shame. Yeah, that's like a 2021, I think, 2022. Infinity. Just because it's all-wheel drive doesn't mean it's a fucking amphibious vehicle. <sighs> yeah, be sure to be sure to 
be sure to like, share, and subscribe. All right, hold on, Brandon. Let me see that thing. This fucker's full of water. Let me see it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So crazy. change where the strap is, hopefully it'll curl the tire the other way. Um, all the way up to the back seat's full, whole back seat's full of water. The back trunk area is full of water. All the seats are covered in mud, so that tells you, that tells you that it's, ah, you fucking cunt. Look how wet Brandon is over there. We forgot to do our calculations on anchoring points. Yeah. Rolling resistance. This is a just put a line on it and see what happens type of deal. You know what I mean? Like our 
founding fathers say, throw a line on it, see what happens. Tony. Hey, Connor. Given your circumstances, I'm not going to make fun of you right now. But it sure would be nice if we were here. Good thing I choose sobriety, and I've been sober 